Princess Charlotte debuts new gold bracelet which features special word in Arabic. Princess Charlotte appeared in her element on Sunday as she joined her mother the Princess of Wales in SW19 for the hotly anticipated Wimbledon men's singles final. Accompanied by Kate's sister Pippa Matthews, name Middleton, the mother-daughter duo enjoyed a joyous afternoon of sporting action from their front row seats in the exclusive Royal Box. And true to form, Charlotte, 9, and Princess Kate, 42, galloped ahead in the style stakes. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. While the mother of three wife struck sartorial gold with her rich, violet-hued midi dress from Safiyar, Prince William and Princess Kate's daughter Charlotte charmed in a floaty polka dot dress by guess. Eagle-eyed royal fans may also have spotted that the youngster accessorized with a cluster of dainty bracelets, including a never-before-seen gold-linked bracelet featuring a turquoise Nazar amulet. The teeny eye bead, which translates as sight, and surveillance is an amulet believed by many to ward off the curse of the evil eye. The evil eye is said to be a curse which is typically inspired by envy and causes harm to the receiving person. Wearing an evil eye amulet can be a way to protect yourself against these omens and bad luck. Charlotte's dainty bracelet also featured her name written in Arabic, a sweet, personal touch that almost went unnoticed. While the origins of Charlotte's jewelry item remain unknown, it's possible that her bracelet came from Jordan, one of the family's previous holiday destinations. The Prince and Princess of Wales shared a delightful image of Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis taken as the young royals cheered on England in the Euro 2024 final from home. In the candid shot taken from behind, Charlotte, 9, and Louis, 6, both sported personalised England kits as they watched the match from home in Windsor, while Prince William and Prince George cheered on the three lions in Berlin. William and Kate's personal message read, At England, your teamwork, grit and determination were an inspiration to all of us, young and old. Congratulations to Spain. W and C. Sadly it wasn't to be for Gareth Southgate's squad as Spain secured a last-minute goal to secure a win and take home the trophy. There was almost an equaliser from England, with cameras capturing William and George's reactions at their missed chances. Meanwhile, Princess Charlotte accompanied her mother, Kate, to the men's singles final at Wimbledon, alongside the princess's sister, Pippa Matthews. The trio watched the match between Novak Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz, with Alcaraz taking home the trophy for a second year in a row. The match marked Kate's second public appearance this year after trooping the color, as she continues her cancer treatment. The princess, who is patron of the Lt, did not attend the women's singles final on Saturday, and Wimbledon chairwoman Debbie Jevons presented the trophy to Barbour Krachikova on her behalf. While William and George may have looked heartbroken after England's loss, the prince sent a rousing message of support to the squad, saying after the match, this time it just wasn't meant to be. We're all still so proud of you. The two heirs were seated alongside King Felipe of Spain and his youngest daughter, Infanta Sofia, 17, with the four royals posing for a snap together ahead of the match. It wasn't the first time that George has cheered England on at a Euros final, as he could be seen ecstatically celebrating the three Lions' early goal in the Euro 2020 final alongside William and Kate. William is president of the Football Association and a passionate Aston Villa fan, and has taken George to the club's matches on multiple occasions this year, with the young prince often sporting the team's scarf. In April, they watched Aston Villa's match against Lille in the Europa Conference League quarter-finals, their first public outing since Kate's cancer diagnosis announcement. And in May, George, who is second in line to the throne, accompanied his father to the FA Cup final between Manchester United and Manchester City at Wembley.